Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. In today's video, I want to test the rapeseed and coconut wax with you. Now I know I've done this video about two years ago, but I was looking through my candle box and I was wondering, I actually don't remember anything about this wax anymore. I don't remember the cold throw, the hot throw, how it burns, the wicks that goes with this candle, none of it. And I don't even remember why I didn't like testing it or I didn't go back to it. I tend to revert back to Kerasoi quite a lot. So I just completely forgot why I just didn't go through with it. And for those of you that don't know how the wax looks like, I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. I literally just used a bit of it and I just completely forgot about this poor wax. It's just been left in my wax cupboard. Anyway, this is how it looks like on the inside. It, it is pretty creamy when it melts between your fingers. Then I use two different 30 centiliter jars. I want to use the clear one because I really want to see how it sets on the candle jar and um, the normal colored one, which I've been loving, loving recently. I don't remember if I tested the wax with an essential oil, so I'm going to make an essential oil candle, but I'm not going to be too creative with my fragrance. I'm just going to stick to rose geranium, only one note, and see how that burns. To get straight to measuring the wax, um, I am going to measure 407 grams worth of wax. And I'm only going to be using one fragrance oil for today, and that's going to be Baltic Amber and Clove. I'm measuring the wax with you guys. Don't forget to always tear your scale. And then I literally have this spatula, you guys, so I can pierce through the wax because I don't know how easy or hard it's going to be, but let's get to measuring. This wax is a bit hard to pierce, pierce through. It's going to take me a while. Look at this mess that I've caused. I literally had to take it out of the box and cut it on the table because it was so hard to pierce through it with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it onto my double boiler, which is literally right here. Get that melted. I've also wicked my 30 centiliter jars. I had a trouble centering the wick for this one, you guys. It took me like a good five minutes trying to center the wick. So I hope I've centered it correctly. Um, for the fragrance, I am measuring 33 grams worth of fragrance. So I'm just going to do that with you now. I'm at 33 grams worth of fragrance you guys it is literally pitch black outside and it's only five o'clock I, I just can't believe how dark it's getting um right now it's so crazy i had work today and i literally came home and i thought it'd be so nice to just make some candles have some downtime and enjoy myself while i'm filming for you guys but while the wax is still melting it's literally right in front of me i thought i'd go through the wax a little bit the recommended melting temperature is 60 degrees celsius uh, the recommended pouring temperature is pretty low actually which is between 38 degrees to 40 degrees celsius and the suggested wicks are cl's tabello and la wicks which i've personally never used and also lb wicks and lc1 wicks which I've never used before, but if you have them at home, then these are the recommended wicks uh, for the wax. Um, the recommended content for fragrance oil is 8 to 10%. Uh, the recommended content for essential oils is 8% as well. I personally use 5%, you guys, because I use 100% essential oils in my candles, so 5% goes a long way. If you're like me and you use 100% essential oils, I don't recommend that you use more than 6% or else it's going to be too overpowering for the candle and for the scent. It will, it will literally give you a headache, you guys. So be careful when you are using essential oils. And then the curing time is 48 hours, which is normal. Some of us uh, like to cure for seven days, 14 days. Some of us like to test at seven days, three days, 14 days. That comes down to you and your testing. The wax blend is actually exclusive for candle shack, so they don't sell it anywhere else. And it's made from rapeseed and coconut oil and nothing else it is completely free from paraffin soy palm beeswax and any synth synthetic additives um, it's got a melting point of around 40 degrees celsius and it's firm to the touch which it is and that is everything about the candles it's literally getting really cold in here you guys i need my robe or something because or, or a cup of tea while this wax is still melting I think I might be doing like a giveaway you guys for like the fragrances that I bought and I never really used. I've just tested like once or twice and there's still quite a bit inside the bottle and some waxes that I don't use either. I'd rather you guys make use out of the wax and the fragrances rather than me having to just waste it 
and have it sitting in my storage so if you guys are interested um please let me know and i'm happy i'll do an i'll do a whole entire video about it because you guys will need to know what you're receiving in terms of fragrance and wax and i think as well a few wicks that i don't use i literally realized that i don't have a stabilo 14 so instead for my second jar which is this one i use a stabilo 12 instead there we go you guys the wax is almost there i think i might need to put the heat down a little bit it's melting really nicely I'm looking forward to playing around with it and seeing how it actually burns and everything. I am at 67 degrees right now. So Candle Shack says the recommended melting temperature is 60 degrees. I'm not that much over where I may be afraid that my wax will discolor. So I'm on the safe side. But yeah, I'm going to wait for it to cool down till about... It doesn't really say when is the best time to actually pour my fragrance in i think i'm going to pour my fragrance in at 60 60 degrees the same way i do it with carousel and see how that works and for my essential oil candle i'm gonna have to go a little bit lower where i'm about at 55 uh, or 53 degrees actually i'm at 60 degrees right now i'm ready to remove my thermometer and add my fragrance in and i also have my timer ready on my phone for two minutes we get to mixing i have finished mixing for two minutes and i want to check how hot my wax is before i pour it into my jar now candle shack says between 38 to 48 degrees to pour it into my jar which i'm actually going to wait um, for it to get to that temperature and then i'll pour it in um let me show you guys where it says that it says that right here 38 degrees to 40 degrees you guys i am at 46 degrees right now and i'm still waiting for the wax to reach a pouring temperature i thought i'd be panicking right now because normally with my other waxes the wax tends to start to cool down but for this wax you guys it's actually doing really well sorry my thermometer switched off and do you know what i've just realized i was watching back my clips and then i can see lipstick on my teeth so if you see lipstick on my teeth throughout this video i am i am really sorry um there's not much i can do unfortunately i can't edit my lipstick out of my teeth let me show you a closer look on the wax at 41 degrees as you guys can see it's literally still pretty liquid none of it is hardening it's not sticking to the sides i'm really impressed um right time to pour let me quickly show you how i measured my wax i literally took it out from the box which comes out pretty easy actually i literally start breaking it up and then it breaks pretty easy and i am measuring 143 grams worth of wax and i'm at 101 right now it does tend to get a little bit messy you guys so if you wear gloves it'd actually be a lot easier because it's kind of hard to clean off my hands okay i'm at 130 just a little bit left i think half of that i actually use these little bits you guys i don't want to waste any of the wax it all cost money all right that was perfect 143 and then i'm gonna pop it onto my double boiler as usual and for my fragrance i am going to measure seven milliliters worth of rose geranium and if you guys haven't seen how i make my essential oil candles i'll pop a link down below please go and watch it i go into a lot more details on how i make my essential oil candles i'm at 58 57 degrees i'm gonna wait for it to get uh, 52 degrees uh, to pour my essential oils in and i'm also going to wait until it's 40 degrees to pour into my candle jar okay my lovelies we are at 51 degrees i am ready to start mixing there's my essential oils or my essential oil i should say because i'm only using one and then i'll mix again for two minutes we are ready to pour into my candle jar
Good morning, everyone. My candles have cured and I'm just going to trim my wicks. And just to show you the results of the candles, this is the top and this is the candle adhesion i do have a few cracks in my candle i don't know if you guys can see that but i've got cracks going along the candle i think the camera's picking it up i'm not too sure why that is i've never had that before but the top looks really good and it also smells really good you guys and this is my second candle beautiful top again and my essential oil candle Again, beautiful top, some frosting on the candle wax. The cold throat of the essential oil smells a lot stronger than carasoy, which I'm super happy with. I'm looking forward to actually burning these with you at some point in um, either next week or the week after this video, but I'm really excited to burn these. And that is it for today's video, you guys. I am feeling very cold, but I am also very happy that I filmed today's video for you guys. Please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future. And don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post a new video. With that said, have a lovely weekend, a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.